Hi everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this very grungy brown smoky eye. Uh, this took me like maybe 15 minutes to do the eyes. It's really simple, it's really easy. You just need a couple of different shades. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, you can just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos three times a week. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of my content. So thank you so much for watching and let's get started with the makeup. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. If you're wondering why my face is pink and why like there's pink spots all over my face and my neck and my hands, uh, I had kind of a unfortunate makeup experience. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to removing this because it's going to be so funny seeing my face like tinted and pink. Uh, I really don't know if I'm going to post that video because uh, it, it's just freaking stupid and the look is freaking awful. So if you want me to post the video, leave a comment down below because I wanted to like create like a kind of statue texture on my skin using some clay masks and pigments. And I kind of ended up just staining my face face and my neck and my hands <laughs> and even my floors so yeah <laughs> and my eye bags are so intense at the moment so I, I just wanted to put a little bit of a eye mask before we get started with the video <laughs> so for today I am going to start with my eyes because we are going to be applying very deep shades very dark shades on our lids uh, so as per usual I'm going to be priming using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and of course the purple shows through my concealer that's great my skin is really badly stained it's really annoying <laughs> Oh my god, you can still see like all of the purple. How am I going to hide this for like work? So today I'm mainly going to be using my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I might even jump into this Pure Cosmetics Masquerade palette. So to begin, I'm going to go into the shade called Perfectionist, which is a kind of neutral peachy kind of brown. And I'm just going to put this all over my crease, just as a transition shade, so that the very deep shade we will apply on our lids will blend better into the crease and I really want this look to be extra blown out. I don't really want to make it super elongated on this outer corner, I just really want to have a very rounded shape. Oh god, I'm really sorry because this eye is really stained with pink so it's probably going to show through. Alright, so next I'm going to jump into the shade called G Money which is a really like nice mustardy brown shade and I'm going to take that with a JH33 brush which is kind of a smaller blender brush it's actually the first time I'm going to try this uh, brown shade so I'm really excited Ooh. and I'm going to blend that shade from the inner to outer corner yeah this pink tint really annoys me because it makes the eyeshadow look more orange like this side is it's a little bit more neutral whereas this side is a little bit more orange that's really annoying. All right, so next I'm going to go into my Masquerade palette and I'm going to take this very deep brown shade. I'm going to take that shade using a JH40 brush, which is a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to start and pack this very closely to my lash line. Oops, sorry. This, this palette smells like freaking chocolate. It smells so good. It's blending quite nicely. I do see a tiny little bit of patchiness using this shade on top of the Jaclyn Hill shadows. I feel like it's not grabbing very like uniformly on the lid. So I'm just going to go back into a bigger fluffy brush and I'm going to blend these edges a little bit more. And it's also kind of creasing, so that's weird. So instead, I think I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 and I'm going to go into this very deep brown shade right here. And I'm going to pack this closely to my lash line. Yeah, this is blending better and doing smoky eyes like this it's really a matter of just taking your time and blending the shades out doing a lot of back and forth to have a seamless blend and don't worry about my under eye area for the moment i am going to clean that up after next i'm going to go into the black shade and i'm going to dab this very closely to my lash line with a beveled brush 
just to give even more definition to the lash line. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot of fallout. I'm really just messily putting the shadows on. And then I'm going to go back into the shade G Money and just reapply this in the crease, making sure everything is well blended. Oof, now this is a throwback. This is really grungy. <laughs> I'm just going to remove what I have on my under eye area. All right, so before we finish up the eyes, I'm going to jump into my complexion part. Uh, so I'm going to prime my skin using the Glossy Balm from the Touch and Soul brand. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and apply it all over my face. I really like this primer because it gives a very nice shine to the skin and it allows any kind of complexion product to really nicely glide on the skin. Uh, and just because right now, well, as you can see, I'm really tinted pink, uh, I need something that has a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to be mixing uh, a little bit of my um, Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I'm going to take one pump of that. And I'm going to mix in the BB cream from Yves Rocher and it's in the shade medium. This BB cream is a little bit too dark for me and the Fenty foundation is a little bit too light. So I do enjoy mixing both together to have the perfect shade. To blend that in, I'm going to use my M439 Morphe brush. It's a big uh, buffer brush. So I'm just going to tap this into the skin. Yeah, the pink is showing through. <laughs> I don't own like a uh, high coverage foundation, so I don't think I'll ever be able to cover all of that up. Okay, so I think I was able to hide some of the pink quite well, actually. There's, of course, there's still a little bit showing through, but I'm going to try and hide it after with some concealer. I'm going to be using my uh, CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. This is the shade L150. So I'm just going to blend this in with my concealer brush. I applied a little bit too much, so I'm going to put the rest on the center of the forehead. And I'm also going to put a little bit on the areas where I tend to get redness. So around the chin and around the nose. All right, so next, I'm going to apply some bronzer just to warm up the complexion. I'm going to take my Hourglass Ghost Edit Palette. Oh, no, actually, I want to use another one. I'm going to use um, actually the Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise Palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm, but I did really enjoy the formula on these powders, so I really wanted to use it more often. So I'm just going to bronze using the lighter shade from the palette. And I'm going to be very generous with the bronzer. I really want my skin to be well-defined and very bronzed. I'm also going to take some of that bronzer across my nose. Am I the only one with this problem? Like, my foundation on my upper lip does not want to stay on my upper lip because I'm so sweaty. <laughs> like, am I the only one to be so sweaty from the upper lip? It really annoys me. And in Montreal right now, it's so hot and I don't have any air conditioning in my apartment. Like the rest of my body is fine, but like my upper lip is like freaking Ni Niagara Falls. <laughs> Next, uh, to keep like with the very grungy kind of vibe, I'm going to use a very light uh, blush. This is the coral shade from the Fairy Blush palette from It's Likely Makeup. And I'm just going to apply this on the very apples of the cheek just to give a little bit more color but not too too much and i'm also going to put some across my nose i'm going to fill in my brows really quickly all right today my brows are extra bushy i don't know what's going on next i'm going to finish up my lower lash line so i'm just going to go into the shade g money using a smaller blending brush and i'm going to really smoke that out under my um on my under my lash line all right, and I'm going to be taking my angled brush and I'm just going to take a black shade and I'm going to pack this very closely to my lash line. Very, very, very tightly. I don't want this black to be super intense. All right, and I'm going to go back into the blender brush and I'm going to blend these edges. I'm just going to go into a big fluffy brush that has nothing on it. And I'm going to go over these edges to make everything even more blown out. It's been a while since I, I've done like a very like deep grungy eye look, so I'm really happy I did it today. I really, f I forgot how much I love the look of a classic smoky brown eye. And we are missing some highlights uh, for my highlights. Hmm, which one do I want to use? I want something, I think, I think I want something 
natural looking. So I'm going to go in with my Artist Couture uh, Coco Bling Diamond Glow Powder. So in the end, I'm not going the natural route. <laughs> this is a really, really, really intense highlight, so be very careful. So I'm going to take some of that on the brush and I'm going to dab some of the excess off on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go on to my face because this is bright. You have to be careful with this one because it's going to get intense very fast. So I'm just blending, blending this on the high points of my face. All right, so my upper lip is holding on. <laughs> the foundation is staying in place. And I'm going to take that same highlight with a JH39 brush. And I'm going to pop this in my inner corner for a inner corner highlight. I'm also going to put some of that on my brow bone. And I still have to put on some mascara. So I'm going to use my Yves Rocher Vertige Longueur Mascara. And I'm probably going to apply false lashes with this look. I feel like I need false lashes with this. I'm going to apply my usual uh, ABH fashion lashes. Uh, yeah, these are going to be perfect for this look. So I'm just going to pop these bad boys on. All right, so I forgot to press freaking start to show you which, which lipstick I decided to apply. Uh, but I went in, I used the MAC Retrograde lipstick in the shade Bronx, which is just a very neutral kind of lipstick. It's a really neutral brown shade. And also, I don't think I'm going to apply any gloss just because I want this look to be really grungy, really like smoky and matte looking. I'm just going to set my face in. I'm going to use my Pixie Rose Glow Mist. And here we have it. So this is the finished look. Uh, I'm really happy to go back like to the basic looks. I've been doing a lot of like very funky editorial looks lately. Uh, so I'm really glad to just go back to the base and do a really nice smoky grungy brown look. I really like it. I feel like this could be really nice for either uh, winter or to go clubbing. Uh, I don't really go clubbing, but if you do, this could be a good look for you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Don't forget to let me know if you would be interested in seeing my like failed makeup experiments. <laughs> If you would like to see those, uh, you can leave a comment down below. I wouldn't mind editing it for you and posting it on YouTube if you would want to see them. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's look. If you enjoyed the look and the video, don't forget to leave a like. You can also subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos three times a week. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of my content. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.